let's start with arithmetic operator python has a number of operator as i've already shown in the previous video uh, the link of the previous video is given in the description box in this video we are going to study about the arithmetic operator only arithmetic operators are addition subtraction multiplication division this is the float division double slash it will give you or return the quotient of a division then the percentage sign which represent remainder that's mean when a number is divided by another it will return you the remainder and exponentiation it will calculate the power of any number so let me show you the operation of each and every arithmetic operator one by one this is my python interpreter it is very easy to understand about the plus minus multiplication division first of all we are going to do the binary operation that means there will be two operand for plus minus multiplication and division so when you are adding 10 and 20 say that's mean plus is the operator 10 and 20 are the two operand or the values just give an enter you will get the result in the same way suppose 20 minus 6 you will get 14 15 multiply 7 you will get 105 and one more thing about the multiplication sign this multiplication sign can also be used with string also so look what happened when we apply this multiplication on a string suppose i am writing a string say uh, abc within a double quotes and multiply with 3 so if you give enter then the abc will be occur three times side by side look abc 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 and apart from multiplication you cannot apply any type of other arithmetic operator with the string now for the division it's a simple division when you are dividing 10 by 3 you will get 3.33333 in general a division gives you a floating point number and it can support 15 decimal places up to point now let me see uh, what will happen when 10 is double slash by 3 that's mean it will give you the quotient it will eliminate all the fractional part so when 10 is divided double slash by 3 it will give you the quotient suppose you want to find out the remainder when 10 is divided by 3 so what you have to do 10 this is the modulo sign or you can say the remainder sign uh, then 3 it will give you the remainder suppose you want to find out the value of 2 to the power 3 or 2 cube so what you have to do just write 2 double asterisk sign and then give 3 it will return you the 2 to the power 3 or 2 cube so you can do any type of power calculation using this double asterisk signs it will give you 6 to the power 5 so 7776 is the result so all this operation contains two operands so that is why this plus minus multiplication slash double slash and the modulo sign along with this exponential sign all these arithmetic operation are doing binary operation because it is using two operand now if you want to do a unary operation that is minus of minus 5 so it will give you only 5 so this minus is working up on a single operand that's mean you can say that this minus is a unary minus and it is a unary operation now let me show you more operations on float division that is the double slash operator suppose minus 10 is divided by 3 so here you have to write the quotient such that when it will be multiplied with the divisor it will be equal to the dividend or less than the dividend so what will happen you have to write minus 4 over here so that you will get minus 12 and if you subtract it so it will give you 2 as a remainder look when denominator that is the divisor when multiplied with quotient and then it is added up with the remainder you will get the dividend so this is our the normal rules of operation so here the divisor is 3 quotient is minus 4 remainder is 2 and the dividend is minus 10 let me show you this operation by typing it into the python interpreter 
so when minus 10 is divided by 3 we will get minus 3.333 fine that's correct now if you want to see the quotient and the remainder separately just write down minus 10 double slash 3 you will get the quotient minus 4 look so here is the minus 4 and now minus 10 modulo 3 it will give you 2 so this is the remainder now what will happen when the divisor is minus or in negative that's mean the denominator is negative unlike c or c plus plus python modulo operator that is the percentage sign always written a number having the same sign as the denominator look here the uh, denominator that is the divisor is positive so the remainder is also positive in the same way when you are dividing a positive number by a negative number so what will happen so let me show you a division first say this is minus 3 and 10 that's mean 10 is divided by a negative number that is minus 3 just write down uh, here minus 4 so it will give you 12 now you will get over here the minus 2 so look when minus 3 is multiplied with the quotient minus 4 and when it is added up with the remainder that is a minus 2 it will give you the dividend which is already given as a 10 positive value 10 the sign of the divisor and the sign of the remainder will be remain same in either cases i think that you have understood the process so it's a very normal process and you have to keep it in your mind that python modulo operator always written a number having the same sign as the denominator now let me show you this example in the python interpreter so when uh, 10 double slash minus 3 so the minus 4 will be the quotient and when 10 modulo minus 3 it will give you minus 2 so look this is how python does this flow division you have already learned that python has an assignment operator equal to which assign the value specified on right hand side to the variable or object on the left hand side of the equal to that's mean whatever the value we are calculating or evaluating on the right hand side that must be goes to the left hand side python also offer augmented assignment arithmetic operator which combine the impact of an arithmetic operator with an assignment operator for example if you want to add value of y to the value of x and assign the result to x then instead of writing x equal to x plus y you can also write x plus equal to y so in the same way you can also write x equal to x minus y can be written as x minus y equal to y x equal to x multiply y can also be written as x multiply equal to y in the same way all other arithmetic operator can be written like this so look at the chart carefully you will understand the operation that's mean it is uh, another way of writing expression both are identical you can write in any one of the way say a equal to say 2 and b equal to 3 so instead of writing a equal to a plus b a is occurring at the left hand side and the right hand side in either side of the assignment operator uh, this can be written as just remove a and plus from right hand side and just write down in a plus in front of equal to just give an enter now print the value of a you will get 5 that is 2 plus 3 are added up and the result that is the 5 will be stored within the variable a and when you are print a you are getting 5 but the value of b will be remain in the same state so in the same way you can do other operation also suppose x equal to 5 y equal to 2 now just write down x multiply equal to y and print x you will get 10 so 5 into 2 10 and that is stored within x and you are getting 10 while printing 
x i think you understood the operations i think you can do all other operation of your own try it yourself and if you have any problem just write it down in the comment box i will try to reply you back as soon as possible subscribe to my channel online technical mentor and press the bell icon for latest update thank you